Hello and welcome back for part four of Castle Brokenhead Presents Let's Play Dragon Quest. Last time we spent over two hours grinding for enough gold to upgrade our gear, which as you can see in this does not show in your item inventory. It actually shows under status. You can see we've got the hand axe, the half plate armor, and the large shield. Uh, two hours may seem excessive, but as I mentioned last time, uh, the monsters in this area are actually not high enough level to generate the kind of gold that we were grinding for. So today, you might think that we would be going south into that area that I mentioned last time with the higher level of monsters, but we're not. Uh, we're actually heading over to a new area, which is going to lead us somewhere completely different. Um, you may wonder why I spent more than two hours uh, grinding for gold in an area that doesn't have high enough level monsters to accumulate the amount of gold I needed. Well, it, it's my opinion that a video game uh, should provide you with everything you need to get the equipment in that area. It seems to me that's the way the game was intended to be played. Uh, whether or not they succeeded in doing that well is part of how we grade a game, or it's part of how I'm grading this game. So we're stopping in here at Tantagel. This way I can show you better uh, how to get to the new area. There's still nothing else new I can do at Tantagel Castle. Uh, so if you recall last time, uh, once we went around this forest, we turned off to the left here. Uh, this time we're going to turn to the right. And I'm going to show you a little bit more of the world map. Uh, you can see if you go this way, there is some water over For the sake of being thorough, I will show you the top of this part of the continent so that you can see for yourself that there is nothing of value over here. A little lake that provides absolutely nothing. Other than that, it's really just there to be another area that you can walk around and grind for gold if you choose to. no real value beyond just being there and uh, making it a larger continent with more surface area. Wow, this is a very high encounter rate. This is one of the biggest problems with this game, is the encounter rate never really changes. Uh, no matter how high level you get, you're going to be fighting these uh, obscene numbers of slimes and drackies every time you come to this area. Now, to start off, we're going to cross this bridge here. I want to show you what's on this side here. You can see this mountain range is blocking off another area. And you can see as soon as we cross that bridge, again this comes down to those monster zones, suddenly we get into an area that has uh, magicians as a fightable enemy again. See, and there we can see the entrance to that little space. As we continue to do battle with the most useless monsters in the game. If I sound exasperated with it, it's because I am. And that's not going to go away. Now, if we go down here, we see there's this dark patch of ground. Uh, I don't know if you remember, but in episode one or two... Uh, we talked to someone who said something about poison marshes, which cause damage. You see right now we have 50 hit points. Now we have 48. Every step you take on the poison marsh costs you 2 hit points. Now let's get the fuck out of this area so I can stop fighting pathetic monsters. Oh, did I get demonetized again? I was never monetized to begin with. So, uh, fuck the algorithm. And if that costs me views, so be it. Yeah. All right. You can see that at the end of a poison marsh, we have a cave down there. 
we're not actually going to go there yet. Uh, I just wanted to show it off. Uh, now that we've crossed that bridge, we once again are going to have access to a different class of monster. And I am looking forward to getting to show those off if I ever run into one of the goddamn things. So, here we go. We have the Magidraki. I'm pretty sure in the uh, remakes, uh, later versions, they renamed them to something that was less of a mouthful. Uh, they have about 15 hit points. Uh, they have an attack of 14, a defense of 14. Uh, the information I was able to find claims that they have no speed. I'm pretty sure that's false. Uh, they're worth about 12 gold and 5 experience. Just like the magicians, they do cast hurt. So you want to kill them quickly. Thankfully, not every turn, but it is their most common attack. Alright, we're going to go down here, take a look. Alright, now, here we have the skeleton. This is the most difficult monster in the region. They have 30 hit points, by far the highest out of all the monsters here. An attack of 28, which is 10 higher than the next strongest monster. A defense of 22, which is, again, far and above what we're used to seeing. Uh, speed of 15. Uh, they give about 30 gold. Well, I think it's actually closer to 25. Uh, and 11 experience. They are also the most obvious. If you look at this, it clearly looks like countless characters you may have seen in Akira Toriyama's animes. Uh, it could not be more obvious that it was him who designed it. Now, if you are fighting one of these assholes at a lower level, uh, lower than we are right now, the easiest way to deal with them is to put them to sleep. When we got that sleep spell, we unlocked the most useful spell in the game. Monsters wake up from it all the time, but it works on most monsters through the game. It is such a useful spell. Sleep is going to be your best friend in Dragon Quest. I don't use it a lot, but that's because I'm a cocky asshole when I play this game. Uh, and because of that massive, just massive upgrade in gear that we got, you can see that I can take hits from the skeleton like a champ. And I can deal hits uh, quite effectively as well. Uh, one thing that I don't think was done properly in this game was they kind of assume that you're going to come over to this area before you get that half plate armor. Um, that's not how I did it. And it's not how I want to do it. So, uh, before we head up to the north, we're going to check out this area here that uh, I avoided earlier. Well, that we couldn't get to earlier because of the mountain range. Weak monsters on this side, as it was before. Um, there are some tougher monsters over here as well. I just haven't run into any. Uh, and some point before we go to the next town there is another monster I want to show you now what is with this old dude my bravery must be proven thus I propose a test there is a silver harp that beckons to the creatures of the dragon bring this to me and I will reward thee with the staff of rain what is the staff of rain you might ask it's a fucking MacGuffin! Like, literally, that's all it is, is a thing that you need as part of a fetch quest to get the other thing that leads you to the place with the thing. It's a MacGuffin. Alright, we have our last new monster for the day here. This is the Scorpion. Uh, they have about 20 hit points, 18 attack points, 16 defense, uh, standard 15 speed. Uh, they give... Uh, yeah, anywhere from 11 to 16 gold and 6 experience points. They have no special attacks of any kind, and they are the second strongest of the skeletons in the region, 
uh, when I was talking about how much stronger the skeletons are than everything else, this is the monster I was comparing it to. Uh, they're so much easier to kill than skeletons, and their gold payout is actually not that much less. They are probably one of the most effective ways of grinding for gold in this little portion of the game, uh, if you're not strong enough to fight skeletons uh, straight out. As you can see, this uh, set of hills has a very high encounter rate. We have a new town! Shielded by a mountain range to the north, this is the town of Cole. We're going to check that out in just a minute. First, I'm going to show you the rest of the uh, continent. Because why not? We have an insanely, insanely high encounter rate over here. This is probably way better for grinding than where I was. So, if you decide to play this game, this is where you make your money. A lot of ghosts. Uh, now, I will point out that it's unlikely that you'll run into any skeletons this far north. They tend to be closer to that desert in the south. Uh, here you're going to get your Magidrakis, uh, your Scorpions, Magicians, and Ghosts, primarily. Uh, you're not really going to see much of anything else around here. Uh, you don't have Slimes in this area, so you don't have to worry about those, and all of the Drakis are Magidrakis. So, the lowest amount of gold you're going to get in a fight is four, or three, I think sometimes they give, if it's a particularly weak ghost. Uh, but the scorpions make for some excellent, excellent uh, grinding material. Uh, Magidrakis are a pain, but once you get as high level as we already are, as you can see, they start to run away. Alright, now let's head into town. We've got this old fart who's going to tell us that it's the village of Cole. Cole. Not a very um, interesting name. Please save us from the minions of the Dragon Lord. Well, sure, that's what I'm about. Right. Uh, Gollum is afraid of the music of the flute, so tis said. Gollum. Not the one from Lord of the Rings. We will encounter that later. Uh, not today. And I don't think it's afraid of the flute. I think that might be a mistranslation. Uh, dreadful is the South Island. Great strength and skill and wit only will bring thee back from that place. Alright, all if you say so. This guy looks like a fighter. East of Hawksness, there is a town, tis said, where one may purchase weapons of extraordinary quality. Well, nobody's told us where Hawksness is, so... Alright, here we have a new weapons and armor shop already. And what do we see? The hand axe is the most expensive weapon, so we're already up to date on that. Uh, the large shield is actually better than what they have here. But look at that! 3,000 gold for the next level of armor. And I think you know what that is going to mean, viewers. It means several hours, possibly. I'll time it. Of grinding for yet more gear. That is, like, 90% of the game. Hast thou seen Nestor? I think he may need help. This is the second time we've heard of Nestor. So... This bath cures rheumatism. Yeah, sure. Alright, we have a poison swamp. And a dude. Kind of makes it seem important, doesn't it? Like it might be worth taking the damage to talk to him. Let's find out. Though thou art as brave as thy ancestor, Brokenhead, thou cannot defeat the great dragon lord with such weapons. Thou shouldst come here again. Seriously? Your weapons suck, come back later? Uh, art thou, 
descendant of Erdrick? No, I'm the descendant of Lodo. Uh, hast thou any proof? And that, my friends, is supposed to be how you know that you need to find something to prove your ancestry. And in case you're wondering, yes, that something is just another MacGuffin. It has no real value. Remalder is the place to buy keys. Well, that's good to know, since we know where Remalder is. Hast thou been to the southern island? No, I just got here. To the south, I believe, there is a town called Remalder. So you remember that cave we saw at the south? That is the way to get there. Now let's find out what would happen if I said yes. Alright, there's our warning that there are powerful enemies there. Ooh, tool shop. What do we got? Alright, we have the herb, the torch, the dragon scale, and a new item, wings. Uh, for those who don't know, wings will automatically return you to Tantagal Castle. So that you can heal up. And that is everything in this town. There is absolutely nothing else in this town of any value whatsoever. And anyone who tells you differently is a liar. Oh my god, a fairy flute? Where the hell did that come from? It's almost like I knew. I did know, and we're not supposed to. We will have someone who will tell us that it's there later on, uh, but the truth is, Dragon Quest Three. you come to this town, the fairy flute is in the exact same spot. So... That is going to be it for today. Uh, before we, before I come back in next time, I'm actually going to walk around and do some grinding, get the 3,000 gold needed for that full plate armor uh, so that we can upgrade, as we've done uh, in every other section so far. So uh, when I do come back, uh, you might see me leveled up some more, as well as uh, I will be ready to buy some new gear. Uh, thanks so much for joining me in part four, and I will see you in part five. Until then, stay frosty.